I have known her for more than four years now. I think it was uh, sometimes in early 2014. Uh, and I met her when she was working at the mayor's office. Uh, and I was part of the Welcoming Pittsburgh. I've known Betty for about two years. So it's um, kind of a new collaboration, but um, I met her because Change Agency is part of the project team for Age Friendly Greater Pittsburgh. Um, I've known Betty Cruz for about a decade, and I first met her in college. My first impression, so she, uh, she very well organized, uh, someone who just want to get things done, like really like on time, and you know, going over stuff over and over again. First impression was, man, she is smart and she has an infectious smile. My first impression was, wow, she is serious about what she's doing, which is fantastic. Like you want to work with people who are super passionate. Um, and I say serious because um, I think that she creates a real sense of urgency around the issues that she cares about. Um, for me, it's serendipitous that I came into this work. So my parents and our story has just always been, it's our story, right? My parents are here as immigrants. Um, my brother doesn't remember Cuba, but he was you know, born there and spent his first few years of life there. My first language is Spanish. Um, you know, my growing up, everything was talking about the family that was left behind in Cuba, talking about the politics of it all, um, talk, you know, watching, shows in Spanish, so uh, my American experience as a Cuban-American is different. Well, I, I don't think I'm, I know many people who are as strategic as Betty is. She's very strategic, um, and in, in a way that uh, it's so different and so special because she understands the importance of processes but at the same time, she has a strategic goal. So there are not that many people who can balance the two. It wasn't until fast forward, I had the opportunity to join Mayor Peduto's team that he asked me um, as part of my, my work on, as part of my work on his team to um, start his immigrant inclusion initiative for the city. When we were putting together the first administration of the city after the 2013 campaign, we understood that there were going to be communities that we wanted to be proactive in. Um, and part of that was going to be the critical communities, whether they were veterans, whether they were people with needs, whether they were uh, immigrants and refugees. And long before 2016, in the change in policy in Washington, Betty was creating new policies for cities that made cities welcoming locations for new Pittsburghers. I think, um, I think back to when we were creating the Age Friendly Greater Pittsburgh Action Plan. Now we sent this to the World Health Organization, so this was a really big deal. And I remember on a Sunday, um, we were both working on this. And it was a Sunday evening and I was in a coffee shop near her house and the coffee shop was getting ready to close. And she just said, you can come over and we can just do this in my living room. So we were working on this really important document, you know, in her living room around, you know, all of her, her plants and, um, and just her life. And I feel like she really lives the work. And so, you know, to do that together and really again, to be so serious about what we're doing. Not that we work every Sunday, but I mean, when you need to get things done, you, you do that. So I remember doing that um, as a good memory with her. Yeah, so for Age Friendly Greater Pittsburgh, we're working on one of the action items uh, to build welcoming committees, both in and outside of the city. And really just thinking back to like the old style kind of welcome wagon um, approach, of how to really support whether it's newcomers or whether it's um, older adults who've been living here um, for a long time and you know really as a way to to build connections, combat social isolation. Betty and uh, Change Agency, congratulations uh, for this award. I couldn't think of uh, anybody deserving of this award uh, better than Betty Cruz for the work you've done over the years and uh, 
I'm sure you're going to still do more work, and uh, we're lucky to have you in Pittsburgh. Congratulations. Hey, Betty. Congratulations on this award. It is so well earned. It's an honor to be able to work with you, and I look forward to working with you for many more years. I won the birth lottery in that I got to be born in this country. I have so many cousins that are still in Cuba and would do anything to be able to leave. I am now in a position where I have this privilege and I don't feel like a person of privilege because I still carry with me the, the burden and the struggle of my family, but I have to recognize that I do have privilege now and that um, is what motivates me to work with the communities and hopefully be able to um, do right by them so that they have that same access and opportunity. Betty, congratulations on the Community Heroes Award. We are so thrilled that you are a part of the Age Friendly Greater Pittsburgh Project team, and we look forward to continuing to work with you. I personally look forward to continuing to work with you, and I'm just so excited for you as you accept this award. So, congrats.